My pictures here of Kenny Bunkport. Real slice of perfect weather out there today, Keith. Yeah, not bad at all. Some people on the in the beach there. It's it's on the borderline for me, like warmth wise. Yeah, because it's not that warm. No, but yeah. still nice. And the sun feels it's great right there. now. Although I see a, it looks like a little cloud cover making its way yeah. in this afternoon. Yeah, some clouds coming into the coastline here shortly. You can see the coast is the warmest spot in the state. It's 75 in Portland, and Agunquit, 76 in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. You get inland and into the mountains, and it's in the 60s there. It started off cooler, number one. Number two, we do have more clouds, which I'll show you in a second. You go up the coastline, though, 73 in Bar Harbor, Southwest Harbor at 75 degrees at the moment. Dew points comfortable, too. That's something that you probably noticed over the last couple of days once we got rid of that tropical moisture on Friday night, dew points dropped and there was a little bit more of a crisp feeling in the air mass. We should be able to stay kind of neutral in that regard throughout much of the week here before dew points start to creep back up there, but it will not be overly humid. There's the satellite again, much more cloud cover into the mountains and foothills into New Hampshire, into northern Maine. That's just enough when you have temperatures kind of borderline to cool us down a bit along the coast. There are cumulus clouds, but you can see them kind of drifting down towards the coastline at the moment. So a smattering, I would say, of very small showers. Be interesting to know which of these are even hitting the ground because some of these really small echoes like one like that and this are likely not even hitting the ground. They're probably just looking like a really ominous cumulus cloud, but not dropping anything. But a few of them are probably uh, coming down as a light shower and we'll see those move towards the coastline over the next few hours. This model dries a lot of those out before they get to the coast, but I think an isolated shower chance is possible everywhere this afternoon. Better chance into the mountains. Tonight, temperatures drop down into the 50s. It's partly cloudy to mostly clear. We had a pretty good northern lights last night. It won't be quite as good tonight, but there's a chance over northern Maine to still catch some of that if you get up at the right time or you stay up, whatever you're into. Tomorrow looks like a nice day. We have a lower chance of precipitation, upper 70s, low 80s, isolated shower across northern Maine. I think most of us tomorrow, though, are dry, and it's a really pleasant day. We do it again on Wednesday. All these days fairly similar. Pop-up shower chance here Wednesday afternoon. Maybe a few more of them Wednesday with an isolated thunderstorm, but the first half of the day is dry, and Thursday is kind of the same deal. Start with sun, end up with a pop-up shower storm. Our overall pattern here does have some instability in the afternoons, but if we run the computer models out for basically the whole week, the total rainfall amounts here are, are quite small. So the idea is that you've got a chance for a pop-up shower almost every day except for Tuesday, but there isn't a lot of total rainfall to be had here. So most of the week is really pleasant. Temperatures right around 80 degrees, kind of on the edge of a ridge of high pressure. That's why we have a chance for showers, but there's not a lot of moisture. And then we watch this tropical system. We talked about this last week. Models still have it somewhere in the East Coast, but they've been increasingly pushing it well offshore, which would be my instinct to begin with. We'll obviously keep an eye on it uh, as we get a little bit closer. Dew points stay pretty comfortable. Again, we don't really get back into that muggy stuff until maybe the weekend. And the weekend looks okay. I think Saturday is fine. Sunday is going to depend on that tropical system I just showed you. Not directly, but where that tropical system goes is likely to influence where a cold front will go ahead of it. So that will give us maybe some shower chances on Sunday. That's how we're playing it. I will tell you it's possible that Sunday actually ends up being dry as well, but there's just a little bit too uh, much uncertainty out there right now. Sounds very familiar to last weekend, which by the way, I felt like the word didn't get out on that because <laughs> we were we were in New Hampshire on a lake on Saturday and it was dead. Yeah, and I was like, it's nice. It was nice. We, like we told you it was all day. Turn around. Didn't check back. Yeah, <laughs> we will do that this week. All right, yeah. Keith, thanks.